everybody, I'm Jessica Duque, food photographer based in the Netherlands, and today I want to show you how to incorporate a light plaster into your food photography. One of the most interesting resources used in food photography are definitely gobos, because they add more interest to your photography. But what is a gobo? Gobo means go between optics. You can grab any object and place it in front of the light source, helping you to create shadows and patterns, adding more interest to your photography, some kind of movement. One of the most popular is the coculoris, so you can grab a foam board and cut irregular shapes and this simulate the branches of a tree. So this is one of the most popular. Or maybe you can grab a branch of a palm tree, helping you to create this tropical, you know, vibe with a hard light. So this is the way I used to make gobos in the past. Today, I want to show you how easy and how simple it is to create all these gobos using a light plaster. I'm going to show you how to use the light plaster with the strobes. We have the universal adapter that you can attach here, not complicated at all for the strobe. This is really handy. And we have here our light plaster, so it's really easy to install. So this is for the lens. And we can insert this one here. And we secure the light plaster with this other screw here. Super easy. Once it's done, we grab our lens. So today I'm going to use a 20 millimeter because it is wide enough and the wider the lens, the better for the projection. This light plaster is an image projector, so it's an optical snoot that will help you to recreate all those shadows and patterns into your photography. And to project those shadows or gobos, we have this creative set. This is a special uh, set of windows, so there are 10 in total. And we have to use one of these inserts and place them here. So we open them, replace them. So I have these already pre-selected for the demonstration. And what we do is like we close it and we place them right here. One of the coolest things about these creative kits is the variety of windows or shapes. So we have two windows or three windows and sometimes we have like a large window. And how can we project that large window? So it is super easy with our universal adapter. Once it's secure and you know already attached to our strobe, what we do is simply rotate and we can project that large window. Because we don't want to waste any light, we can use this uh, cover that is special for this light plaster. So it will help you to cover the strobe and also the lens. So you can adjust it, close it really well so because we don't want to spill or waste any light. An important thing to mention is that you can make your gobos look sharper or softer if you change the focal distance of your lens. The idea I had in mind for this session was clearly focused on a cocktail with summer flavors in a contemporary still life. Simplicity combined with a bold and monochromatic color palette inspired by rhubarb and raspberries. The colors of the ingredients of this tonic water were the key to giving this composition a mid-century modern vibe. My idea was precise lighting and composition, very simple, adding geometrical shapes and focusing on showing the beauty of gobos in combination with food photography. Natural lighting has always been a resource in product and food photography. 
Still, this time, I'll be mimicking it using a light blaster to project some gobos and give it a cozy feel or render elegant shadows and mysterious vibes when it's necessary. By using these gobos, I wanted to establish the mood and draw the viewer's attention to the product and make it pop. And after we finish with the stroke, I'm going to show you how to use the light blaster also with a speed light. Shooting Tether lets me instantly see all the images at full resolution. Check critical focus, composition, styling, etc. Adjust lighting and camera settings more quickly and easily. My setup for shooting Tether is very simple. Today I'm using a Tether Pro USB-C to USB-C right angle connected to my laptop and my Canon R6, this time handheld. Adobe Lightroom is the software I use for shooting Tether and for editing my photos. A rock solid tripod roller with a stand, a Tether table aero with an aero pro pad. To prevent my laptop from turning off the screen or going into sleep mode, I use an application called Amphetamine. There are many others like it if you prefer an alternative or if you are using a different operating system like Windows or Linux. Once I have all my images shot, the cooling and editing process with Lightroom is really fast. Let's proceed to make some photos. But first, we need to finish some arrangement with this cocktail because, you know, when it's a fresh food or uh, something like refreshing, we need to do it like right away. Now the cocktail is camera ready. I have here the light blaster with the gobo number nine. It is a large window. My camera is tethered to my computer and I have also a modeling light on the side. Remember when you're working with fresh food, with drinks, you have to be really quick, really fast because you don't want to miss any detail. Let's make some photos. And this is beautiful. Yes, and then we move a little bit to the back and then you can see all the details on the floor and on the wall. So remember what I mentioned that you can um, make your gobos look sharper or softer? Well, now a little bit softer. So this is beautiful. So you can see the condensation of the drink so all the natural details and it is like a sunset coming through a window it is beautiful so what about if we start playing around and change our gobos like i mentioned i use the large window on this one and I want to use now the number three so these are like three square windows so you can rotate rotate them I'm going to rotate this one like horizontally and see how it goes let's go for this is beautiful so this is uh, softer and I'm going to share with you all the values of my uh, camera so then you can see how I, how I did this photo. So I love this one, it's softer and let's make it little bit more sharp so hard it is the, the you can see that the shadow is like really hard it is really cool now how can we play with gobos so we don't need to you know use clamps on our you know lights and try to you know to see if it works or not so this is a practical way to use gobos okay I'm gonna use now the gobo number five. Also, I'll show them individually so you can take a better look and see how cool they are. So these are made with metal, so they are not plastic. And 
the resolution, let's call it like that, is amazing. So this one is so cool. I'm going to make it sharper, no, softer, sorry. And then you can see that there enters more light. So this one is beautiful already. I'm really, really happy. Easy to replace. So you just open the insert and slide them out and grab your new one and slide them in. And let's keep playing. This is one of my favorite uh, gobos. Let me repeat the number. This is the number four. And let's go. Oh, this is so cool. And let's make it sharper. So, I'm a big fan of like soft uh, gobos. I know it's my uh, my preference but it's up to you so this is a possibility that you have to be playful and to choose you know your options and see what you really like and to add something special to your photography play with this one is also a vertical one so this is a blind let's make more photos now with this amazing go it is so cool and then you can see the shadow also of the of the glass So I'm going to continue with the gobble number two. So this is a different kind of uh, window or blind. Yeah, this is beautiful. All of them. I mean, I don't know which one I like the most. I like them all. I like the system a lot. Amazing. So it is not difficult to use this system, it's just like, I mean, you can play with the distance, you can play with the focal lens, and also, you know, it adds something to your composition, making your photo look special and different. So you don't have to chase that hard light, sunlight, to make a beautiful photo anymore. You can do it with your strobe, or with your speed light it is just amazing now so let's make this one a little bit more sharp and adding more drama i'm using by the way for these photos um the 15 millimeter from sigma it's one of my favorite uh, lenses for food photography that one and the 105 macro they are my favorite I cannot describe you guys how hot it is today here in the Netherlands it's summertime and also in my studio making these photos for you but it totally worth it it is amazing so this is a different window let's make it softer and I'll share with you all the camera values like I mentioned before so
this is one of the favorites it's the some kind of mosaic window it is the gobble number eight it's also a large window and i'm going to rotate my lens and everything yes so this one is already soft I like this one you know but like this like soft you can make it sharper or less blur <laughs> but my preference is for the soft on this one it is more like romantic Now that we have tried all these gobos with a stroke, I want to show you how to use them with a speed light. Okay, now we're going to use the speed light. So I'm going to show you how to remove uh, everything from the stroke. So what are you going to need basically? So you remove this, oh, we don't need this anymore. So we switch it off, remove the last screw that you have here and just unclick. We will need a separate uh, light stand. It isn't difficult at all. It is so easy to remove. Hopefully, um, introduce it here. And we close it really well. So we know it's already safe. It is so easy to use this light blaster either with the speed light or with the strobe. So whatever you have works and makes magic. So here we have our gobo like really blurred and I'm going to make it like a little bit sharper. And you can make it sharper or softer. So you can find, you know, like the middle point you like. So this is the mosaic and it is basically no rocket science. So whatever you have at home, if you have a speed light, it makes wonders. Let's try then this one with the bars. So we have here the goal number two, the window number two. We place it in. So this one it is so interesting. Amazing. So let's make this one a little bit sharper. You can see the difference. So I have this other window just to give you an idea. Let's just remove and make your photo. So this one is too sharp for my taste. And with the post-production, you are ready to go. So it is beautiful that you can do with these cobos and with the light blaster.
So I hope you enjoy the way I use Gobos now. So how was in the past and how it is now. So different, so easy. See you in the next one. Bye.